Interesting fact, each time you pop a squat in a porta potty, your pee could make its way to a lab to be studied. And all for science. So, could the deposits we make into our toilets at home undergo the same level of scrutiny? Well, first, let's take a moment to acknowledge something really important about poop. 60% of it is bacteria by weight, and there's gold in them there, poo, at least in studying and learning from it. And that's just what one team from MIT is doing. These dedicated stool sleuths are a collection of microbiologists, architects, computational biologists, geneticists, and electrical and mechanical engineers. They gather primo fecal matter by descending deep into the bowels of the earth, specifically into sewer systems. Here, sometimes under the cover of night, they collect sewer sludge and transport it to MIT's sensible city lab to be examined. And with all this mystery and intrigue, you're probably wondering if this project has a snazzy name. Yep, Project Underworlds. Cambridge, Massachusetts is the location for this pilot program. And while the Underworlds team collects microbial samples from the sewer by hand, the plan is to install robotic sewage samplers throughout the sewer system in order to record in real time disease transmission. That means that influenza outbreaks or pathogens like E. coli could be predicted quickly with a public health response to match. Not a bad idea when you consider the growing elbow to elbow populations in cities. But it also means that other substances like illicit drugs could be detected. But not to worry, my fellow toilet flushers, there's no way to trace back substances to individual homes, at least until the future you installs a smart toilet and your data from your fancy crapper gets hacked. In the meantime, we should start viewing our daily offerings to the toilet with respect. All that beneficial bacteria stewing in the gut is a cornerstone of good health. We're talking about a primitive life form dwelling inside of us with serious bragging rights. After all, bacteria has been around 225,000 times longer than humans have. So it makes complete sense that the folks at MIT would be mining the sewers for this microbial gold. Though sadly not looking for a race of mutant cannibals living under the streets. Phase two, perhaps. All right, if you like this, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and check back often for more great stuff to stuff into your brain.